Welcome to day five of uh, Tales from West Garden of Maine. You might notice I got a different backdrop. Well, being the chief unregistered Maine guide, unregistered, uh, I know less than anyone else. So Mother explained to me if 10 feet distance was good for us, 40 feet would be better. So I've moved down into the boys' bedroom. This is my grandson's bedroom, uh, Isaac and Shane. Anyway... I just thought I'd let you know this morning that uh, something occurred to me overnight. We do need to be nice and kind to each other. And uh, we need to calm down. And a friend of mine, Dan Wathen, now he was a judge and he's uh, heads up a whole bunch of things, including the main turnpike. Uh, pretty smart fella now. Always was. Years ago, he was selling antiques on the coast of Maine, down on Route 1. That's the epicenter of economy in the state of Maine. People from Massachusetts race up here every summer and give us their money. Of course, we've got to give them something in return. So Dan would sell antiques. He'd drive down there and unload them antiques at a wicked rate. You've never seen anything like it. He was quite the salesman. Anyway, he's whistling through a rural intersection one day on his way to his sales position on Route 1. And as he'd come through that intersection, no signs, no stop signs, no yield signs, no nothing. I couldn't believe it. Worst case scenario, a Massachusetts car come racing through the intersection the other direction, slammed into the side of Dan's truck, drove him right into the ditch. Dan bailed out of it. The truck was stove up. The car from Massachusetts was stove up. The two drivers jumped out of their cars. Luckily, no one was hurt. They run around their vehicles, and the fellow from Massachusetts was all wound up. God, I can't believe you people in Maine. You're out of control. You well, I can't believe you people. What's wrong with you? You've got no sense. You never even look coming through that intersection. Dan just stood there, calm as always. Didn't get ruffled. Waited for the fellow to calm down. Finally, the fellow ran out of gas. Leaned back against his stove-up car. <sighs> Took a deep breath. And Dan said, now listen. You're in Maine now. That ain't how we deal with things. Calm down. Let's have a drink and talk about it. Went back to his car, reached in the glove box, pulled out a bottle of four roses, the best bulls money will buy. <laughs> Dan's money. Anyway, walked over to the fella, took the top off, handed it to him, said, have a drink. The fella took a little drink off the bottle and handed it to Dan. He said, oh, I'm a, I'm a generous fella. Have a big, long drink. The fella took a nice, long draw off that bottle of four roses and handed it to Dan. Dan put the cap on, started for the truck. <laughs> the fella says, hey, ain't you going to have a drink with me? Dan said, no. I think I'll wait for the state police to get here. <laughs> now, there you have it. If you're doing business on the road in the state of Maine, be careful. You might be dealing with Dan Walker. Yeah?